Good morning and sliding into afternoon. Judy Allen here, San Antonio, Texas. Today with Keep It Simple or Step It Up. So I'm going to show you how you can do two, four, six, eight, and have a beautiful, quick project that is over the top. All right, and then we're going to make a second one. So with that, let's get down the hand. Let's go down the hands and let's do this and get started. Right? It's Thanksgiving. We've got holidays, people coming and everything and all. So do we. So we're using Very Cute. We're also using Deckled Rectangle Dies. And there is a punch and I didn't use the punch so we got the Fussy Cut. But we're also going to be combining some fun papers. So one is Very Cute and the other is Berry and Bold. So with this, just keep in mind that yes, this is with the free class. That's November the 11th through the 16th. So if you're interested in that, get with it. All right, you start to check out the newsletter. All right, so I'm going to show you what some things we're going to do. So we're going to use not all of this, but most of it. I did some duplicates because I lost, I misplaced a star. All right, let me show you the two, four, six, eight. This is 12 by 12 paper. All right, and I've got to cut down to six inches. And what you do is you score it at two inches. We score it again at four inches. We score it at six inches. And then we score it at eight inches. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate it. But let me show you how this is going to fold. It's going to fold just like this. So yes, you're going to have to use a larger envelope and look at the back. But that's going to be our over the top card. I'm going to show you how we finish pulling it together. So this is actually from Night Divine, where I got these stars here. And we're simply gonna put these together. And I'm actually gonna put this up on a mini dimensional. Because I can, right? It's all about because you can. That's the beauty of this is, is that you're not getting graded, right? You're just creating and doing what you would like to do. That's what it's all about, right? That's what it's all about. And then I am going to see if I think the dim small dimensional is going to be too much for it. But we'll see. You know, that's what it's all about. It's trying different things. Seeing how that works for us. Sometimes it doesn't float our boat or not. I'll put it on here lightly. And that way if I need to pull it off, I really don't like it. I can pull it off, right? Because I, I do. I go and create. And sometimes when I come live with you, I want to try something else. Right? Just because just I can. So it's a little big. So you can you can easily take some snip scissors like these. And just snip some of that off. Okay. That's all you got to do. Alright. Now I'm just going to put it on top of this. Here. And let's see. Yeah. That's how I did it. So I've actually made this star on a number of different things. Because it's just a beautiful star. And we're just going to put some bling on it. So yeah. See I have like, some extra little... Just in case I lost them today, I could still find and have some extras. And then I'm just going to put some bling. I normally don't put my bling on here first, but it's okay because this is a simple over the top card. Just simple, right? So you can do this with any beautiful paper, especially if we got a lot of scenic paper that sometimes I have just like this. That makes it very easy. So I've got my star here. So we're going to do two things. We're going to stamp this here and we're going to stamp this with this right here we're gonna stamp this with warm wishes is that gonna fit yes it is i'm saying i don't know i'm doubting myself i think it's because i know i have a turkey to cook right i know i have things to prep today i know which i have to share what your thanksgiving is like but ours is you know we, we'll cook some things tonight like we'll boil our eggs that will go in our dressing and our giblet gravy oh uh, you know what i'm gonna change my mind because i can I'm going to use Night and Navy. So, yes. So, we, so we'll we do some cooking tonight. Uh, we even have some Mickey Mouse cookies that we're going to make with some kind of whipped cream stuff that we'll be doing. That you're going to put in between it. So it's like a, almost looks like a sandwich, a cookie sandwich. That's what it reminds me of. Let me see how this, make sure I clean that good. Okay. So, so we'll work on that tonight. We'll get the cookies done. They're all in the shape of. Mickey Mouse, we'll get those done. And then that way we'll do the whipped cream part tomorrow, right? 
But it's like cornbread, right? We'll cook cornbread tonight. If we're ready for that dressing for tomorrow. Get those boiled eggs. So it's always something, right? But it's what you do to get ahead of the game. Unless you have two ovens, which we do not. So you have to sort of cook some things before you get to that dressing and before you get to that turkey, right? So there you go. Okay, so I'm just going to take the warm wishes here. Now we are going to add bling to it too. I'm not going to add this on here just yet. Because I'm going to go ahead and stamp the back side of this. And this is Christmas is Better Together. And this really stands up very nice. So the thing is, the one thing about using this 2468 method is that you can sit there and it, it'll stand up, right? So when you sit there and give this to someone and again the envelope, not only does it have a message on the front, but it's going to also have a message on the back as well too, and they'll be able to easily see it. Okay, so I'm going to put Christmas is Better Together. You know, and you could add some uh, little other designs if you wanted to. I did not because I was going to plan on signing mine. But it is a nice way to get this set up. Is that you can lay this out like this and still be able to do that, right? So that's the main thing. Alright, so let's get this finished here. So all I'm going to do is put some adhesive on the back. And then we're just going to put this here. So I know everybody is busy, right? I know for us, we're going to try to take in a movie later, just to chill before all the rush, right? It seems like the rush, right? Because family and friends are coming over. And then in addition to that, you know, we got all the cooking. Then once all the cooking's all done, then it's from there, we get the Christmas tree. And it just, it just one thing after another, right? You do the Christmas tree, the Christmas cards, the Christmas newsletter. And so on and so on. So, just it's like just to try to chill out. And remember, it's about having fun and enjoying family, right? Sometimes we get caught up in all of them. I was trying to see if I could go back. Yeah, it's a regular dimensional. We get so caught up, right, that we forget about having fun. So, I work really hard, especially with grandkids here, which is grandkid number three i'm not sure where she is right now but i know where she's going to be when we go to the movies right so <laughs> it's all fun and that's the main thing so i'm just gonna put warm wishes right here and i don't want to take away from the star because i sort of want the star to be the focus so that's why i've brought this other bling here and we're just going to use the white reflective one just because it's nice it's the holiday season I don't know about you. I know we're not going to get snow, but you may live. Well, let's see. Well, I'll just tear it. So, you may live in a part of the country that you're going to get snow. We do not. Not for Christmas anyway. We might every great once in a while get something that comes through. Okay, well, I'm just stuck to that. I'm not worried about that one. But to say for Christmas, we'd have a white Christmas. No. So, I'm just going to put one here. And I'm going to put one up here. And I'm just going to put another one down here because I can, right? There we go. There we go. All right. So this is how this is going to look. All right. So it's going to go in the card and it's going to look like this. When it opens, it's going to go open like this. Oops. Let's see if I get that for you. If you can't see it, say something. All right. So it's going to fold like this. It's going to open like this. And when you stand it up, it's just going to it's just going to stand just like that. So you can put as many messages as you want on back. And then we stamp this back here, which, you know what, I usually address it, and then I, we usually all sign it. So I have to leave room for all of us to sign, because we all sign. Okay, so there you go. That is how simple it is to create a beautiful, simple holiday card, 6 by 12 paper, and it helps you use that DSP as well, too. All right, that's card number one. All right, let me put it on so we can go to card number two, our project. So these are both... So both of these, you get two of each in the free class kit, right? So we have all the information in our newsletter. Now this one, we're going to do a little fussy cutting, okay? That's because this does have to be fussy cut. I did have a punch. I just didn't punch it, right? So let's go ahead and at least get the layout going. So this is a four and a quarter by 11 and a half. And then we're going to take this here, which is four by five and a quarter. We're going to put this on here. 
And I'm not going to really put any of this right now on this level with dimensionals because I'm going to save that for the bear and the tree and all. Okay, let's see if I can get this going. There we go. Yep, so it's a need for speed, right? So you'll have to share. I want to know what is your favorite holiday dish for Thanksgiving? I know we have company coming, so everybody has their own. We have two two neighbors coming, two to, uh, two different households, right? So we have one that is the mother of my friend Linda, and, but she, but her mother is like a mom to everybody. She likes to be called Margaret Mom. Woo -woo. So she's gonna spend Thanksgiving with us, and then I have another neighbor, Glendalyn, who's gonna enjoy us join us as well. So. They are related. They're just both neighbors. I'm not even sure if they both know each other. Maybe. But you know that's what it's all about. And so we'll have like nine people at our house. Family, seven of us, and two and two guests. Two lovely guests, right? Okay. So I've got this on here. Now these two are gonna go together. I am mean, I'm gonna put this up on dimensionals because I can. And I'll just give it some. So the colors you might say look a little busy, but right, it's tying in the colors with some other things. So don't ever get. So this is two different papers, right? This one is from the Very Cute Group paper, and this one is from the Merry and Bright, the one with the trees. But the colors go, right? So that's the main thing is you get the colors to go. So that's what we're doing. And then we'll get the bear on here and a tree. So this is Granny Apple Green, which matches and coordinates with the color here. And this is actually not DSP. This is actually the top part of the card we just did, which is all stars above it. That's why it's six inches there. So we're going to use the same thing here. This one I'm just going to do right here. Let me put this here so you can see it. And so yes, yeah, so this is actually DSP. It is not cardstock, but I thought it looked just fine because it's got just a little twinkle of lights in the background. And we're just putting a bear and a tree on here. See, you can just see the stars. See them? There's the stars right there. So, yep, we're gonna use that. And then we will have to do a little fussy cut, okay? So you'll have to let me know what you like best. This is going to go on the inside, all right, for a sentiment on the inside. I'm not going to do that yet. All right, so here's the tree. So both of these, this, I did it two different ways. This one, I actually stamped the darker green, which is uh, grassy green. And I stamped it first, and then I stamped the black outline. This one here, I stamped the black outline first, and I turned around and stamped the inside of the tree. And you can see it really didn't make much of a difference for me. So anyway you go, you're going to have to fussy cut because the only thing in the bundle with the bear was a punch for the bear, right? And only for the bear with the one, well, you know, it actually works with the bear on the um, another set of paper too. But it, that's it, right? So there is no dies with this one. So it's just the, there's just the bear punch. So you have to fussy cut, right? Which is okay. I don't mind fussy cutting. Some people do. But sometimes, if we want what we want, it's just what we have to do, right? I'm just going to come around here a second, though. I don't like having a big piece of paper right there in front of me, trying to fussy cut. So that's just a purple present. I just don't like a... If I'm going to fussy cut, I don't want a bunch of paper right there in front of me that has nothing to do with what I need to cut out. And it just gets in my way, right? So we're just all different what works best for us. And that's what I would tell you to do, is just do whatever works best for you. So I do not do Black Friday. I know there's a lot of people that are gonna zoom out for Black Friday, but we don't. We will just work on getting our Christmas tree up. We go out and pick out two live Christmas trees, one for the grandkids and one for us. So you'll have to share what some of your traditions are. And then we'll let the limbs hang, let, let them droop, right? Because the tree's been tied up, so the tree's pretty tight. but. We let it droop at least for a day, and then we'll start putting stringed popcorn on it, and then we'll put some ornaments on it. And this year, I'm going to show you how I make bows for Christmas trees. So all the times you see me str maybe struggling to do bows live, 
I'll show you how I can do bows like no tomorrow for the Christmas tree. So right here, even that's as as of my neighbor who taught me how to do it. She goes, there's never a bad bow, never, ever bad bow. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you why. There's never a bad bow. So there you go. So you know this one here. I, could, I had two choices, right? I could either fussy cut this. The way I'm doing it, or I could just as easily have taken the bear that does not have this on its uh, neck because I stamped that directly on. I had so if you'll see here, I had the option I could fussy cut this out. The and I may still do that. I haven't decided if I'm gonna like this just on here like this, or if I want to fussy cut it and see. We'll see. All right, we'll see how we're doing for time. I know right now we have to be doing pretty good for time because that first one was very easy all right very simple very beautiful and i think i've used that paper with the stars in it for our background for something we did in our retreat i can't remember what it is right now but it was, you know the stars just really really played out for what i used it for okay i just got this little piece right here so next week so we're only doing two weeks right so november for 16th through the 30th is when you can get the free class and that is by going and purchasing at least $50 and you'll get the free class you just have to go to my site use this host code here go to the site and do that and you'll get it all right so here we go we're just going to put this up on so I am going to put this up on dimensionals because I can So I actually stamped green ink on Granny Apple cardstock, right? So when you do that, you just want to make sure whatever color that you do, it's going to be darker than your other one, right? And that way, that's how that shows up. And then I did the outline in black. So with this stamp, you're going to do the outline first, and then you're going to sit up there and... So I'm okay with even coming off right here. You know, sometimes people don't... may bother them. It doesn't bother me at all. I really like it. I think it's just nice to give it dimension and all that kind of stuff. And we're going to go ahead and put this up. The bear, I'm going to put them on dimensionals too. Let's see what it's going to look like. Because we can double stack, right? We can double stack our dimensionals if we want to. All right, I'm okay with this. Let's see here. Did I get them just fine right here? I did. It looks like I might need to move it over just a tad though. Because I can feel it when I go to put it down. That's not quite there. Okay, hold on. That's not a problem. We just take it. So, tell people, just don't mash it so hard that you're going to tear the paper, right? So, we're just going to do it just like this right here. You can make it as close as you want, or you can hang it off as much as you want, right? So, let's do that. And we'll put some Winka Stella on this tree. So, again, this one isn't that terribly hard either. It's just got a little fussy cutting if you want the tree, right? And I, don't, I like them to sort of just cross over just a little bit, right? And I want it a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, right there will be fine for me. Okay, and then we're going to stamp our tags. So, I use the deckled dies for the tags. I did bring the next one just in case. We're going to put it up here. But you can see, I got one of the things there. If it could have, I could have just done this too, but I really like this one better. And then, then I've got this for the inside. So, let's get this little start stamped with warm wishes. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the Knight of Navy. Right, because that's the color basically of that, and that's the color of our cardstock. And I really like that at the moment more than black, but we could do black, right? Let's see if I got it upside down. I do. So yes, if you're looking, I do have two stamps right here together. And that's okay. That wouldn't be the first time I've done it, and it won't be the last either, right? Now let's see how I did that though. Sometimes that works for me, and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so that worked. Okay, let me clean it off though, because I'm going to stamp the other side. And I really do not want to get ink all over me. Hey, it's a sign of stamper, right? But if I had my druthers, I really, that was not my game plan today is to get ink all over me. Okay? But I do have that keeping it showing up. Okay. Now I'm most writing at the Lone Ranger on that too. I am going to take it off so I do this big one here. Get this other one out of the way. Yeah. I did, I got ink all over there. It's okay though. It'll come off and come clean, right? So again, I don't know about you, but I get my crew 
to sign the inside of the cards and we do a family newsletter. But you could easily, right, you could easily stamp a tree on here. The stamp set has presents. It has, what else does it have here? I'm looking at it. I can even add the tree I did a while ago. So you can see, we can easily do snowflakes, any other, this, we can even do the little bear, right? So you can do whatever you want. I just have to leave room for the knowing that my crew, we're gonna stamp, right? So there you go. So let me go ahead and finish this up and I'll show you the first project and you'll see the second project. And we'll put this on the inside. So that would be very easy to add what we had up there with a tree on the inside here. All right, because it does look nice. It looks nice too if you stamp the envelopes, right? So do not leave any naked envelope stamp them. That's what Shelly says. She is one of the co-founders of the company, and she says no naked card envelopes. So you're supposed to stamp your envelopes too. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this up with dimensionals. And then we're just going to add a little bling and we're done. So this is just a cute, simple card, right? You had to stamp and punch or a fussy cut. I could have easily added the scarf. Now what I'm going to do here, I am going to do this here because I want this really up high. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this just a tad. Just a tad. Ah, let's see, I tore it. So that's what I, that's why I'd say just, if you can do it real easily, that's the main thing. But uh, let's see, is it going to stick still? No. All right, let me get another one. Usually that works for me. That did not work for me that time, but that's okay. All right, let me get this again because I want to make sure. So what it is, is this is going to hang off just a little bit, okay? I didn't take that one off. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this right here for the moment. If I can get it detached from me. And then what I'm going to do, it's just going to come over like this here. Yeah, I'm going to do that and pick it up. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to double stack, right? Because I want that end down there and I'm going to double stack. So if you've never double stacked, all we're doing is you're going to take your dimensionals and stamp them up like this here. And you're going to see because I have the other items on dimensionals, this does by doing a double layer here, it's going to get a bit even more height. It'll still fit in the envelope. But see how that's going to look right there? So it's going to go really well, right? So we're just sending more wishes. It's going to open up right here. And you can stamp some more stuff here. So let's just go ahead and we're going to give it some bling here. And I'm going to use this green since we're using the green here. I just want to add some green. So I'm definitely going to add one to the top of that tree that I just dropped. Right there, because I can, right? It's not a star, but it's definitely some bling. All right, and I'm just going to add some bling here. And I'm going to add some more bling here. And you know what? And you can bling it as much as you want, right? So I'm going to add... But do it in odd numbers, okay? Not even. I'm going to add some bling here. And I'm going to go ahead and add some down at the bottom. Just so it's all nice and sparkly. And I got that there too. And then I'm just going to add some Wink of Stella, which is also, right? It's just a glitter pen. And all I'm going to do is add some to this tree here. So I'm just going to come right here where I've already colored it with the ink pad, right? Stamped it on. And, I'm, and you can see... It's not picking up color. So at first I thought it was picking up color, but it's not. It's sort of blending the color together. If it is, it's real light, right? So I'm just going to give it that sparkle. That's all we're doing. Just a little sheen of sparkle. And there you go. And we can do the same thing right here. Oh, yeah. I don't have a scarf. I do have some scarves. It just hasn't been cold enough for it. Just be careful. It does pick up just a little bit of the color, right? So... With that, here is our second one right here. And then here's our two, four, six, eight. Looky there. There's a two, four, six, eight with our sentiment on back. We'll have to use a little bit bigger envelope, right? But it's just very simple and it's just a great way. So let me put out two of the projects we did today. And next week we'll have two other projects. One will deal with wood 
And the other one is going to be a very unique way to deal with a box. So here's what we've done today. Here's two. So you get two of each of these, right? To do each of these projects to make with a free kit. And then we'll have two projects next week that one deals with wood and the other one doesn't. And you get one each of those. So I hope you enjoy that because it's just easy. There's no reason. There's no reason why we can't go out there, create, share, and give. So we did two easy things. The 2468 is easy to do. You can do that with any DSP. You just have to just look at the thickness of the DSP, right? Because if it's thin, you'll be sure to go gentle with it, right? So that we are, this is live. Can't help it. This is a house with people in it during the holidays. And so, yes, we get all kinds of different things. So with that, go out there, create, share, and give. And if you're not following us, be sure to follow us here on Facebook, also on YouTube and Instagram. And if you don't get the newsletter, be sure to sign up so you can get all the details and what's coming up. Be blessed. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Look forward to seeing you next week on Keep It Simple or Step It Up. Bye.